Uh, it is Sunday the 4th of December. Unfortunately, once again, I have not made it through the Western States Lottery like probably several thousand other people, but my friend Thomas Watson has, so massive congratulations to you, Thomas. It's coming up to sort of about quarter past four in the morning, so it's 45 minutes to go time. So we're probably gonna head out of the door fairly shortly. How are you feeling, Tom? So really very busy today. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Mark, I've got to give it to you. I'll take it. <coughs> like a morning I see. It's only 24 minutes to go. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so race has kicked off. Tom will be heading right up that peak now. Um, we're going to go get back. We're going to get packed up. Then we're going to get on the road down to Robinson Flat, which is about a three hour drive. So it's probably not going to be terribly exciting. Might have some footage from inside the car. Um, and I'm so stoked for the guy, you know, he's going to have a great day. And hopefully we are too. Just as I'm heading back to the flat, you can see this kind of convoy of cars just heading out of Olympic Valley. Um, and Presumably trying to get down to Robinson Flat nice and early. I don't think there's that much of a rush, personally, because, you know, it's, it's going to be five and a half, six hours for most people, at least. Um, probably, probably more. Um, it is now 20 past six in the morning, so we'll probably start to go get the car packed in a minute and then head up to Robinson Flat. So game day stuff in the boot here. Anything we're going to drop at the hotel after Robinson Flat on the back seat. Do you need any water? No, I'm good. Okay, uh, oh no, actually, I will take a take a bottle of water. Actually, here's one I prepared for you earlier. Sweet, there we go. The woman with the plan. So I'm in the car, all packed up. Jenna's just sorting out one two bits, and then we're going to get on the road to Robinson Flat. What time is it? It's currently 6.45, so it'll take us maybe three hours, bit of faffing on the bus, so we should be there 10.15 maybe, which would be awesome. 5.29, 5.39, so he's either dead or it's just a little bit delayed. Hopefully it's just a little bit delayed. <laughs> Itself. Um, around us it's quite incredible you can see where it's been burned out I don't know how recently and then the forest is starting to regrow but it's just this really steep and hilly terrain that could be quite interesting getting back out of in the end um, temperature wise it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit behind up here which is quite cool I think that's in the high teens I'll put a message below to, to, to say what that is
Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, good. good. All the bumbles are getting I in. I know, right? They're all over the place. So you're going to park here? Yep. Go down around the toilets and just park nice and tight. Don't kick up too much dust and the shuttle bus will be here in a minute. Amazing. All Thank right. you so much. Have fun, you guys. Dude looks like he's reversing out. So maybe we go that way. We are bloody good. We're off the road. We're out of everyone's way. We're facing the right way to get back out of the aid station. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. So just wandering along to get on what looks like a fleet of or kind of yellow school bus shuttle going back and forth. It's like the magic school bus. That's pretty cool. Now as you can see, you are going to be here quite a long time. So have water, have food. If you can't look after yourself, you can't look after your runner. And also, just be patient. You've got plenty of time. Just enjoy the day, talk to people. It's all good. Thank you, sir. Bust up to Robinson Platt, a little bit of a wee wander, and we're good. Keep it going. How are you doing back there, Jenna? I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to be moving. I didn't realize we were going to be this long. I would have my water like two and stuff in this boat. Very good as well. So we're going to get set up and we're just going to chill, get a drink, get a bite to eat. Um, it's really small, everything looks flatter and bigger on the videos. There's not a lot of space here, so you don't want to bring it around up there if you can avoid it. So, but it's amazing, it's, it's awesome. Jenna managed to go get some signal a little bit further, like 50 meters further up the hill um, and check in on Tom's location because he's carrying a like a spot tracker with him. He's about 50 minutes to an hour out of here, so he should be through at about maybe 20 past 12, half past 12, which is 10 to 15 minutes behind pace. But you know what? At this stage, that's perfectly okay. We'd much rather he went easy and eased into the race. So we've got some time to take a break. So I'm possibly going to go have a snack, go to the bathroom, get some shut eye, whatever. Jenna is 25 meters past the end station, aid station on the right hand side. 20 meters past. Well done, Tom. I'm good. I'm good. I had a terrible start. Like, I was like so shaky. Like, I was like, I had to get her in the cut. I had a big one. Cut it. And I kind of like I did there, like cut it here and there. So, like, for that two minutes. I'm trying to walk the first hundred so we can run the last 60 here. Go get it! Run at 221, Carol O'Hare. He got out of here at 12.40 um, in the afternoon, which is kind of, it's a decent amount of time behind a um, 24 hour pace, but he barely made what would have normally been the 30 hour cutoff of Lion Ridge, which they got rid of, and he's picked up an hour and a half since then. So he is leaving the bus behind, and that's the important thing to do. 
Um, do you want to chuck me the towel? I got a spare arm. Yeah, perfect. Sweet. All right, let's go. Oh, how do you think he was looking? Good, I think. As long as he doesn't get in his head, he'll be fine. But he came in at 2.30, 12.30. Yeah. So that is like, good. Okay, so for a slight logistical challenge, there were three buses, there's now one. So it's kind of going to take an hour round trip to get people out of here and we were fortunate to get this one and there's probably three or four more bus loads waiting and at least they're kind of starting to see the, near the back end of the field but there's still going to be people coming in for probably 20 minutes um, I think we're 20 minutes to final cut off here so it's going to be a challenge but there we go, we're winning, slowly <laughs> and I like fall off the bus yeah Cool. <sighs> okay. I'm the dustiest person I know right now. <laughs> Back at car, hotel in Auburn. Not a bad idea. <laughs> For lunch, shower. 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 Snooze. So dusty. <laughs> I mean, really, top tips for Robinson Flat. Don't take too much. Don't wear white. <laughs> Don't wear white. Everything is going to get filthy. So if you take any camera gear or stuff like that, take a kind of uh, non-dust permeable bag to put it in because everything is filthy. So yeah, yeah. we're kind of good. Um, we're going to get the aircon going, get the temperature down, and we're going to be sweet. Hit it. Hit it. So we're just driving back through Forest Hill now and the place is absolutely chocker with cars. I think that's Courtney DeWalter is just running through there. Yeah, it's got to be, she's wearing long shorts and she's oh, yeah, steaming is. through at a rate of knots. So we're up with the lead women probably. I don't quite know what position she was in but I assume she's pretty close to the front. And you can hear the cheering in the background. <laughs> The place is absolutely chocker with cars on either side and runners and all sorts of stuff. It's absolutely mental out here and people ringing cowbells and screaming and, and everything. So, but we're not stopping here. Because we've got, we got plenty of time. We're heading, we've probably got five hours before Tom gets here, so we're gonna go get checked in. We are back in our favourite location, the car, where we're going to head up to Forest Hill right now. Um, I'm ready to pace, or as ready as I'm ever going to be, and um, we're going to go meet Tom. We've given ourselves about an hour, hour and a quarter to go get ourselves up there. It's only a 23 minute drive, but it's going to be a pig to find someone to park and get ourselves set out so we can give him some aid, you know, close enough to the aid station and get our shit together. Shall we? Let's keep right. Till we've just parked up, aid station's 200 meters that way. Um, I've had about an hour's sleep, maybe an hour and a half. Um, had a burrito from Chipotle just to fill things up like three or four hours ago, and some water. So um, I'm more nervous at this point than Tom probably is because he's done 100k of this, and, <laughs> and now I'm gonna be like, crap, I've got to run 38 miles. So let's get it on and do it. And from this point on, 
I'll be using the other GoPro with Tom, but I'll give this GoPro to Jen. So hopefully she can meet up with us um, just outside um, Auburn, and we'll be good. Sweet. So are you going to run back down here or? Yeah, I'll run back down with you guys. Cool. I'm leaving into weather while I should have run a normal running top now rather than the, than the, <laughs> the vest. You look great. Thank you. Is there a time All again, no idea. <laughs> hey, well done. Nice work, guys. Yes. I'm getting nervous. This is going to be my longest run since I did UTA. I only did UTA about two months ago and that was 100k with 4,000 meters of ascent and I finished that. So. How hard can this be? How hard can it be? The answer, probably quite hard. <laughs> there we go. Sleep. It'll be grand. No, you went for missing the left or right? Oh, I did. I got both. I got both. I The runners will come off Bath Road and we can then actually join them and run with them, you know, the sort of kilometre and a half down to Forest Hill Aid Station itself. And then I can, can dive in. So, ooh. Let's drive a segment. Don't quite know how Tom's going to feel when I just drop him and start hooning it down there to get the Strava, the Strava segment for the paces. Keep it going, guys. That wasn't even hot at all, but like, it's so stupid, it's like 20%. Yeah. Straight out these legs. Oh, really? Well done, mate. You're doing an amazing job. You ready? Yeah. I'll tell you what. What are you going to need, encouragement or verbal abuse? Pick one. No, it's I'm stoked that you're coming for the next uh, Ah, it's going to be amazing. You're <laughs> going to kick ass. Probably be like, eh. Whoa, there we go, a bit more. What well a man. For the concerned and discerning listener who is not used to ultra running, this is not entirely abnormal. Tom will be fine, he'll feel better once he's had a good puke, frankly. So, we're good. We're good. Yeah! Come on, Bile. Thank you. Oh, I've got a crew. Go ahead. Sweet, thank you so much, guys. Now. Not you. Sorry, just just chilling with Sally, you know. I wish, bro. Oh, no, I wish. You it. <laughs> We've got probably about 30k of gentle downhill, which we're going to crush to the river. We're going to absolutely crush it. So um, I'm going to get myself sorted, so I'm in the right state to look after Tom. Now we're gonna fox draw Oscar. Yeah. Okay, buddy. I can't promise you 10 hours of Gene FM, <coughs> but. Fuck, I'm hiding for you then. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Get like whatever the new section of the course is. So we've got nice downhill. We've got Cal 1, Cal 2, way. Cal 3. Yeah. The river. Like... Yeah, pretty much Cal Street. But you're doing amazing. You're moving nicely. And this just nice, easy, rolling little leg pace. Just gonna go for a little run.
fun. We will. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Quick as we can. Sweet, we're good. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you very much indeed, guys. Really, really appreciate your help. Thank you. Thanks, guys. There's another big rock right there, <laughs> covered in sand. Thank you. Whoa! Free food, a river, and a river ride as well. You almost get it. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> You're killing it, mate. You're killing it. I didn't bring any money for tips. Oh, Sorry. No <laughs> Your presence is all I need. Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing great, man. Thank doing great. you. Yeah, take care, guys. Doing Appreciate great. It. Let's get you over here. Do a step right there. Thank you, sir. Doing good. Thank you very much, guys. Guys, I mean, yeah. Hey, good job. Good job. There you go, buddy. That's it. That's it. You take the lead, Tom. This is all yours, bro. Tom. Fast feet. Fast feet, high knees. No, I'm good. good landing. I'm good. I'm good. So we're not allowed to give you form tips at this oh, point, I guess. Tiny, yeah, second end. That's a real point. I'll see you on the finish line. Bye. Okay. 